Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, late last year, I saw this um, article about Florida crocodiles and how people still don't realize we have crocodiles here in Florida. They, they always are thinking of alligators and they accidentally say crocodiles. And when they find out there are only alligators and they're, then they're shocked to find out there are crocodiles. Yes, we do have crocodiles here in Florida, the American crocodile. And for the most part, they are in the very southernmost part of Florida. Um, think basically south of Lake Okeechobee, around the edges there, you'll get a few little populations. And then, especially down in the Everglades and like the Flamingo, like in the Keys, um, I've seen them in Flamingo. Um, I know there's a little population scattered throughout the Everglades, but they do move north. And their old range used to basically extend all of Florida. And then they were wiped out. Uh, there was like 300 in the 70s or something like that. So this one was published earlier this year. Um, but uh, the original article, let's see if it says right here. Um, there was a sighting in, in December 4th in Brevard County. In December, uh, Brevard County is where like Melbourne is and the Indian River. And it was found in the Indian River Lagoon. And this happens every few years, it seems, uh, that you get a crocodile that's found there. And it, you know, makes the news because they're not common. Um, but let's see, this is not the first time crocodiles uh, will be sighted up will be sighted up north another one of these sightings was reported in 2019 but this uh latest case of an eight foot crocodile on the beach in the same region might be the crocodile's way of saying they can live up north too yeah they can live up north they used to range all of florida see uh you find them in hispaniola cuba and jamaica uh, they do live along the caribbean coast from southern mexico to venezuela their range on the pacific coast ends from mexico to peru so they have a quite of an extensive range where they're found so south america is pretty much um for uh, the caimans and along the edges you'll get uh, crocodiles so that's that's basically uh what it seems and for the most part here in florida they are found in salt or brackish water they they, they will live in freshwater, but they really tend to stay towards the coast. Um, so, And then when they say Central Florida, they really mean just along the coast. They're not going to be like where I'm at in the middle of the state in Central Florida. This is basically as far north as I am where this one was found. Um, but I'm just in the center of the state and they're on the, the coast. But with that being said, um, we've had them here in um well in pinellas county a few years back there was one that was found um like near saint pete like um in the in tampa bay like th this happens every once in a while um and the more and more there are i think there's a few thousand of them now let me see i think it says somewhere in here which is awesome also it says in here uh this eight footer was considered young since mature adults grow as long as 14 to 20 feet it's a bit of a stretch. I've heard this too. Um, there was a, I don't remember what documentary it was. It might have even have been um, Monster Quest on History Channel. I remember there was this episode where they went down to the Everglades and were looking for large crocodiles. I don't remember. It might have been Monster Quest. It might have been something else. I don't exactly remember. But they were trying to find a 20 plus foot crocodile. And they couldn't because at the time, especially, there weren't that many of them. But 14 to 20 feet, the largest crocodile ever was low long at t just over 20 feet, at least recorded. So saying they can grow up to 20 feet is a bit of a stretch. I mean, maybe it's possible, but they'd have to make a big comeback. I don't think there's any 20 footers there now. Um, but yeah, let's see. It says, and they're pretty. Look how pretty that guy is. Like, I mean, they, they definitely look different from the alligator. Alligators are very calm um, and collected compared to crocodiles. Crocodiles are a little bit more skittish, a little bit more aggressive. I would worry about being in the water with a crocodile. Alligators, not as much. You still got to be careful. Um, 
Let's see, this is why crocodile sightings outside of this range are likely to make the news. As Florida human population increase, there's an increase in interactions between alligators and humans and increased risk of conflict. But crocodiles were not really part of the discussion in this part of the state until now. So that's another thing too, is that alligators over the past few years have, um, the, the attacks have increased. Um, I believe there was only one or two attacks a year or something like that on average from like the 70s until like 2015 or something like that. Um, and there were only a few fatalities. I think it might have been one or two fatalities a year or something like that. I don't remember the exact statistic. But like last year alone there was like six or seven um, kill uh, alligators killed six or seven people. Um, yeah, I mean, they're dangerous people are dumb dumb dumbs <sighs> sorry i got a runny nose um the people are dumb and they go and they encroach on their habitat and they wonder why or they wonder why their dog gets taken and then you know they or they end up going swimming in a lake and getting way too close and end up getting taken and i'm gonna shove this in my nose and yeah um can't do that i'm sorry i can't do it i will after i'm done with this but um yeah i mean it's it's the increase in attacks and issues with these animals are because people have just completely forgotten that alligators are wild animals and when you feed them and they associate people with food and they decide you know i want that food it's not like a, a seagull coming in and grabbing the food real quick and it's flying away and oh it's cute or a cat you feed your wild cat and then it you know might not want anything to do with you but it'll still come for food and it's just there this is an alligator they eat larger things and your dog walks near the water and the next thing you know that gator's like oh there's a person they've been feeding me i'm gonna eat that they eat the dog or they grab onto it. The person goes to save it and the gator ends up grabbing them, which has happened multiple times or, you know, it's used to people and the person goes swimming in the water. Like the dude last year who was uh, killed at Taylor park, right down the road from where I used to live. And they end up killing every single alligator in that body of water. It's very frustrating. They're just living their life and doing their thing. And, now all of a sudden they all need to be killed because we got to know which one did it because if one of them did it it's ridiculous it infuriates me to no end that people's stupidity are the reason why these animals are killed and that's an alligator one of the nicer of the crocodilians you start getting more crocodiles and crocodiles are a tad more aggressive you're gonna start having a lot more issues and I really am not looking forward to that. Moving north, will American crocodiles survive up north? The American crocodile is an extensive range that goes down to Mexico's west coast of the Caribbean and way down south of Amer America's northwestern coast. Unlike American alligators, they're not everywhere in Florida. American crocodiles have shown that they have what it takes to survive against all odds. Crocodiles live mostly in the southern part of Florida since that is where they can find the abundance of salt and brackish water. However, even in these places, they've had to recover from nearly going extinct. Um, increase in human population in Florida in the 1900s led to infrastructural development in coastal areas, which these animals naturally inhabited. This affected their population significantly. The species was listed as endangered in 1975. At the time, the total number of crocodiles in Florida was down to less than 300, and their nesting had already dropped to between 10 and 20 nests annually. Holy crap. Between 10 and 20 nests. Now, think about this, too. It took them to have 300 individuals for them to be declared endangered. We were messed up in the 1900s. We really were when it came to animals. I mean, a lot of things happened in the 1900s. But Jesus, we let them get down to 300 before we declared them endangered. The 90s were a bad time for Florida. Like all of our major animals, like the Goliath grouper, they were almost wiped out in the 90s. Um, the shoot, uh, the panthers were almost wiped out in the 90s too. It's like, oh, now we got to actually put a little effort into making sure that these animals stay here. And that all really turned around in the 90s. 
Um, since then, they've recovered well. Currently, there are about 2,000 crocodiles in Florida, excluding hatchlings. The annual nesting has grown to over 100 nests. The recovery has led to their conservation status being dropped to threatened on the state and federal listings. Okay, so, I mean, they're doing pretty good. And they will extend their way north, just like the panthers have. Um, crocodiles make themselves known wherever they are. The number of individual crocodiles increase in Florida. The number of people complaining about crocodiles creating nuisance have also increased. While there are no certainties yet, the sightings were reported in unlikely regions like Hillsborough, Pinellas, and Brevard counties might truly indicate that they are roaming up north into places they, uh, that are not their natural habitat. Yes, is <clears throat> It originally was part of their natural habitat. Just because we live here now, Pinellas County, they used to go all over Florida, like all over the coast. The, their their old range. Yeah, Hillsborough and Pinellas, exactly. So like, what, just as I said, they've been spotted as far north as basically the I-4 corridor down is their range. Um, crocodiles have shown their ability to adapt and survive by turning a corner into con conservation status. Uh, crocodiles and yeah, they they do just fine together. Yeah, I mean, the differences. Conclusion. I mean, sightings of American crocodiles across the central and eastern parts of the Florida have led to suggestions that they may be extending their range of migratory towards the north. However, there is currently no concrete evidence to support this claim. If this were to happen, it could potentially result in crocodiles and our alligators coexisting in the same region. That made no sense. They already do coexist in the same areas. Or they are found down in the Everglades. And they there is evidence to support this claim because there's been multiple sightings that they've been moving north. So how is that not conclusive that they're moving north? Because it keeps on happening. It's happening more frequently now. And the numbers are increasing, so of course they're going to move north. And the thing is, is that the difference, the big difference with crocodiles and alligators, the reason why it would be more, much more of an issue is because, look, and the, let me finish this statement first, is because crocodiles tend to live in salt and brackish water. Alligators pretty much only live in fresh water. Like, they rarely go into salt water. So if you say you get crocodiles that are far north as Pinellas County, what's in Pinellas County? Clearwater Beach, St. Pete Beach, you know, all of these really popular tourist destinations. And if there are crocodiles that are in salt water, all of a sudden they're interacting with people and that's, well, you're going to hurt, you're going to hurt the tourism. You're going to hurt the money flow. So they, they're freaking out that these guys are going to come back and um, start making their way up to our popular beaches. And then this, <clears throat> from the conclusion to this picture right here, the Everglades National Park in Florida is the only known environment where both alligators and crocodiles coexist peacefully. So they do coexist peacefully in their range where they're found. So anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting and nice to see that some conservation efforts are really providing. Um, they're, they're really proving fruitful and I hope that uh, they continue to prove. Uh, prove fruitful and I will get some more video of these guys myself. I have some uh, videos of American crocodiles on my channel somewhere in there. If you look at some of my Everglades videos, I have some videos of that. So um, I'll tag that right above me. So if you want to click on that video and see some videos that I recorded of American crocodiles, uh, that would be pretty cool if you did that. But anyway, thank you for watching and uh, yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your day.